The sense of division and anger in America today crosses not just race and age, but every aspect of life. It seems hard to know how this nation will pull back from a dangerous precipice. President Reagan described America as the city on the hill, with all the world's eyes looking towards it. Today, the world looks on, but for all the wrong reasons. These were scenes of rioting and looting in New York, an example of how America is in the midst of a perfect storm of instability. Over 100,000 dead from coronavirus, 40 million unemployed, violent protests over racial inequality and a looming brutal presidential election battle. Today, Joe Biden, the Democratic candidate, tried to provide sharp contrast to Donald Trump's leadership during this crisis. The President of the United States must be part of the solution, not the problem. But this president today is part of the problem and accelerates it. When he tweeted the words, when the looting starts, the shooting starts, they weren't the words of a president. They were words of a racist Miami police chief in the 60s. <laughs> Almost all assumptions and allegiances are being tested and strained in America. This was a scene in Fort Worth, Texas, where police adopted the bended knee stance of the Black Lives Matter movement in order to disperse protesters. Paris Dennard is a senior Republican Party official working to get President Trump re-elected. I think the black community can understand the need for restoring order. And that is the heart of where President Trump is coming from as it relates to the rioting. With each passing day, America's deep-seated divisions whose causes are profound and many are laid bare. Tonight, a large march is getting underway in George Floyd's hometown of Houston. I can't breathe! I can't breathe! Showing America's sense of anger is not ending. Ragioma, News at 10.